Hi guys, my name is Roger and in today's video I'm going to talk about my favorite sequencer, the Roland MC50. This MIDI hardware sequencer from the 1990s is still rock solid good in 2018. So, some basic information, what does it do? It records MIDI. So, no audio, but just MIDI information. We have four MIDI units, a MIDI in, MIDI through, and two times MIDI out. This one supports 16 MIDI channels, and this one supports also 16 MIDI channels. You can connect also some pedals, external control for start, stop, and for punch in and out. And here you can connect your metronome and a level. These ones are for old school tape recording. About the metronome, you can connect this to your mixer to have a loud metronome sound but it also contains a speaker so it's not necessary to use this one let's go to the connections the connections are very easy on the midi in you connect your midi keyboard on the midi out you connect your sound modules your synthesizers your drum computers all the equipment you want to connect you want to play with you are going to connect this to the midi out one and midi out two let's take a look now I will explain now how to connect your Roland MC50 to your MIDI gear. We see here the MIDI in. You need to connect your MIDI keyboard, the MIDI out of your MIDI keyboard to the MIDI in of the MC50. Let's do that. Now you have to connect your external equipment like modules, drum computers, samplers to one of the MIDI outs or on both of them. So in this example, I'm going to connect the GV1010, the 880, the M3R, the VP9000 and the GV1010 and also this one to the MIDI out of my MC50. And I'm going to use this one, an AMT8 from eMagic. This is a MIDI patch bay and this MIDI patch bay connects all devices to my Roland MC50. I connect these ones from MIDI in to the MIDI out of the MIDI patch bay and then from the MIDI in to the MIDI out of the MC50. It's this cable. The same for this equipment. These units are all connected to my MIDI patch bay, the Roland A880. So from MIDI in to MIDI out, then from MIDI in to the MIDI out of the MC50. I will connect the power also. This jack. I'm going to connect it to the metronome output because I want to have the metronome output over my speakers, over my mixer. This is the basic connection. Now we're going to turn it off. The software of the MC50 is preloaded in the system. So when you turn it on, it's already starting with the correct software. The MC50 uses floppy drives for saving and loading songs, for saving and loading uh, configurations, those kind of things. So let's turn it on. To make sure MIDI is working, we have to do some setup. So I press, so I press MIDI. Then I want to receive all channels from 1 to 16. all receiving information I want to receive and this one we're going to adjust I want to have through on 1 and 2 this is option number 3 I want to send a MIDI clock to MIDI out 1 and MIDI out 2 if you don't want to send a clock you can put it on off or you can choose only on out 1 or only on out 2 but I want to have it on both. And also this one, both channels, and now we're done. To save this configuration, we need to use a floppy. Then we do shift mode. Well, first we need to get out of this menu, so stop. We do shift mode, then we dial the alpha dial, and we go to system configuration. 
I do enter and I want to save the configuration. Press save. Now it's saved. I do shift mode to get out of this and we're done. So now I will show you the difference without floppy. We should have the same configuration like we had before. So I choose MIDI, then I go to three. And we see here the one, two, 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 two. It's not adjusted. Now I turn it off again. I put in the floppy, turn it on, it will load. Now I choose MIDI. And then we see the configuration is loaded. If you want to reset your MC50, you do shift mode, you go to system config, then init. From initialize, I do enter. Are you sure? Yes. Record. And now it's initialized already. I do shift mode, stop. If I go to MIDI, I'll show you. It's initialized to the original settings. And turn it on. Now we're ready for some MIDI action. So let's say I want to play some sounds on the GV1010. Here I choose my MIDI channel. I can choose from 1 to 16. Let's say I choose channel number 2 because this one I'm going to use for channel number 2. Then on my MIDI keyboard I choose also here MIDI channel number 2. I can change the MIDI channels here but I want to have MIDI channel number 2 And my MC50, well, it's already prepared because I said MIDI. I want to receive all MIDI channels. All incoming information. And I want to use all outs. So, now when I play on my keyboard, I should hear my GV1010. So, let's give it a try. Okay, that's working. I can control here the sounds of the 1010. If I change here something on my MIDI keyboard, for example, bank 10, sound number one, sound number two, you see my GV1010 is changing. Okay, so this is working. Now back to the MC50. Because the MC50 is a MIDI recorder. So if I put this one on record and I say track one, then I can play on my MIDI keyboard. I do pause play keyboard and the sound of channel number two in this case the GV1010 will be recorded so let's stop this if I do play
Now track number two is recorded, no, MIDI channel number two is recorded on track number one. So those tracks don't have nothing to do with the MIDI channels, it's only just a track on which you can record the MIDI channels. So, with these buttons, I can control some MIDI parameters of the GV1010. Also, this information, this information can also be recorded with the MC50. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to prepare this one. I go record. I press record one more time. Now it says replace rec and I don't want to replace it. I want to mix rec. What does it mean? It mixes the recordings of track number one. Channel number two in this case. So I already played something. Now I'm going to change the parameters with the two sliders on my MIDI keyboard. I do play. I do stop. If I go back, now these events, these MIDI events should be recorded by the MC50. Let's give it a try. So, I'm not playing, it was recorded by this one. So, this is just some basic MIDI recording, basic MIDI setup of the Roland MC50. Thank you for watching and see you next time on more videos about this amazing die-hard sequence from the 1990s. Okay, thank you guys, bye bye!